What's going on, Exiles? It's Belton here. Uh, today, I've got a bit of a different video for you, but if you're anyone that's engaged with any of my content over uh, the past years, uh, I would ask that you guys maybe take a couple minutes to, to listen to this one because it's rather important, and I actually have a couple exciting announcements I want to make as well. Um, today marks a pretty big landmark for me. It's been two years now uh, that I've been pursuing uh, this dream of mine to, to make PoE content, and uh, with the ending of uh, this league happening and at the precipice of a new league, it seemed like a good time to um, to take some inventory of uh, myself, um, you know, the stream, the content in general, and the direction things are going. And uh, I made some decisions that I think uh, um, some of you will be quite excited about and uh, some things that people have been asking for for a while. Um, but to uh, reveal here, uh, it's a short short slideshow I made here, guys, of only five slides. I wrote everything out, so it'll be nice and quick. Um, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy and, and thank you for watching. All right. So yeah, two years chasing a dream. Uh, we're going to be talking about uh, the content as well as a supporter benefits update today, guys. Um, what we're going to be discussing uh, largely will have to do with uh, transition I'd like to make towards Patreon away from Twitch. And I'll discuss that further here now. So uh, it's been now two years that I've de dedicated my life focus um, energy and personal finances into pursuing content creation for Path of Exile. Uh, in that time, I've streamed 320 hours a month or 80 hours a week consistently for two years straight. This was true when I had 10 viewers. Uh, and this is true or was true when I have hundreds. Uh, I've never quit a league early and I've never taken a break exceeding four days in that time. Despite being banned for four months, and losing all of my subscribers twice due to TFT nonsense, I've maintained that discipline and commitment. In the past year, I've started and grown a YouTube channel from 200 subscribers to over 24,000. I'm encouraged, humbled, and grateful to resonate with such an audience every day. Content creation is a one in a million success rate. Uh, and content creation in a game as niche as PoE is likely less. I'm aware of this, and I'm not time attempting to evangelize or convince anyone of its merit. I am, however, willing to meet exceptional challenges with exceptional effort. Uh, success will never befall the half-hearted. Um, I've never really wanted to extort viewers for money. A sincere interest in improving on your guys' part will always be met with a sincere interest uh, in helping you on mine. This decision has had financial ramifications, but ones that I willingly undertook in the belief that it would solidify the foundations of a growing community, uh, one that I am committed to seeing flourish. Relying on external revenue streams, investments, and savings, I have supported myself in the pursuit of this dream over the past two years. It has certainly been a labor of love, a labor of love, uh, but it's one that is invariably unsustainable. While partnered on Twitch, uh, which is something I finally accomplished this year. Uh, Twitch takes 50% of all revenue generated off the top. This is further complicated by Twitch's value adjusting subscriber or bit values uh, to adjust for the viewer's local currency. Um, and it is finally felled by a point of payment automatic taxation, which for myself is 30%. Disregarding foreign exchange rates, this means that a $5 sub uh, is immediately cut to $2.50 after Twitch is cut and then is automatically taxed a further 30% immediately meaning the takeaway is $1.92 for every $5 the viewer spends. At that rate, simply paying for my rent would require 1,171 active subs uh, at all times. As a point of reference, the most I have ever had at any time was 557, and it's currently 122. Uh, subscribers, especially in POE content, team, uh, tend to be inextricably linked to you know league starts and... Uh, uh, overall player numbers uh, for the game itself. Um, so sustained value creation, while it does exist and organic growth does exist, it tends to be somewhat er erratic uh, simply by virtue of how the game is played. Uh, for a while, I thought I kind of found a loophole around this, which was uh, leaving my stream on 24-7. I'm sure some of you recall this. Uh, and running ads, advertisements at a max output while I slept or ate. Uh, this eventually accounted for 92% of what I earned through Twitch. I did, however, ostracize a large swath of people who, uh, primarily, frankly, due to time zone differences, encountered an empty chair every time they came by the stream. Many people did not react positively to this, uh, and it was very discouraging on a personal level, 
uh, reading some of the messages and comments I was left um, by viewers who who truly felt bamboozled by my decision. Um, but knowing that I was actively working um, 80 hours a week and only doing so as a means to support myself without having to rely on viewers' generosity. Um, as this league comes to an end and I pass this two-year landmark threshold, uh, I've taken stock of where I'm at, how things are going, trending, and where I can improve. Recently, I added shorts to the channel, and I've spent time at the end of each stream finding and saving exciting and memorable clips that I think would be of value. Improvements such as these <clears throat> are ones that I will continue to make in the future, and your guys' feedback, as always, dictates um, and my skill set allows for. Uh, recognizing the unsustainable nature, however, of Twitch's monetization structure, uh, given the cyclical and somewhat sporadic nature of POE content, uh, I have developed what I believe to be a very strong plan to go forward with that will positively benefit both myself and any interested viewers by being done through Patreon, where 95% of subscription fees are kept by the creator and multiple subscription tiers allow for additional perks or rewards based on the supporter level. I'm excited now to share with you guys the ideas that I have for each level. For any interested parties, you can help me continue in the pursuit of my personal dream while also picking up some pretty wicked supporter perks along the way. It'll take me a couple of days to format and restructure everything, uh, working with Discord connections and perks and all the stuff I'm about to mention, uh, but these changes are in effect as of the posting of this video. A special thank you, by the way, to everyone who has been, currently is, or was in the past a supporter on Patreon without having a structured reward system in place. Uh, frankly, you guys have kept me fed over the, the past months um, via many a DoorDash order. So God bless you all for that. I, I, I thank you. Uh, I think it's important at the beginning of any kind of proposal to, to have a mission statement. And uh, even though this might sound serious, this, this is uh, one that I wanted to state what your expectations of me can be going forward and the standard I'd like to hold myself to at all times. Um, and at the best of my ability, I will pursue excellence in POE. Uh, I will always embrace the novel, look for new things by seeking innovation, pursuing purpose and maintaining a rigorous adherence to data and the collection thereof. I will never intentionally do harm with the content I create. And by that, I mean, I won't, release something maliciously knowing that it's it's fickle or a flash in the pan. I won't buy out markets and try to flip them to viewers. I will never do something or create something knowing that it is falsified information or inflammatory or something purely done uh, to stir a riot. My intentions will always be um, to the sincerity and the genuine nature of, of the content or the advice that I give. Uh, and to that note, I intend to speak the truth regardless of the convenience. I know that sometimes the way in which I communicate my truths um, rub some of you the wrong way, and I recognize and accept that, um, but, but I, I never mean it from a bad place. Um, I will never advise from a place of ignorance. Uh, I'll be willing to admit my weaknesses, and I'll be willing to share my strengths. And I will strive to share my passion and my joy that I get from this game. And... Lastly, if you are willing to and wanting to improve, I will be willing and wanting to help. Now, here are the benefits that I was talking about. I think these are a pretty great way to kind of uh, bridge the gap that I've mentioned here. And uh, a lot of these are things that people have uh, asked for or privately messaged me offering, you know, for coaching sessions or wanting to pay for certain access. And um, I think some of you will be pretty excited by these. So for a tier one supporter, this is the same price that a Twitch subscription would cost. Um, a tier one supporter will be granted access to an amalgamated content list. I will rewatch, categorize, index, timestamp, and link specific crafts, strategies, mirror items, topics, etc., and compile all of that into a master list that I will sort topically for ease of access, most likely through a Google Doc. <clears throat> oh, my mouth is dry, sorry. Um, have you ever wanted to know what content I have covered or written a guide for at some point uh, over the past 11 years, but not knowing where to access it specifically or uh, not wanting to have to investigate every single guide I've ever written? Well, look no further. 
11 years of work will be compiled into an easy to navigate formula or formula format for quality of life purposes. If you want to rewatch that like 10 minute snippet of a video I posted two years ago that, uh, you know, shows a step by step process of how to craft quippers for profit. Boom. Check the document. Look no further. That's for a tier one sub. So for a tier two sub, which would be $10 a month, uh, that will include obviously everything from the tier one supporter. But additionally, once a week, I will host a private members only voice call on Discord in an invite only channel. For 30 minutes every week, I will answer any questions that you have on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Uh, this can be broad or as specific as you wish. If you want a step-by-step -step breakdown on how to craft X, no problem. You want my thoughts on the macroeconomic shifts that occur cyclically in the game? Boom. Also, no problem. Uh, this 30-minute Q&A will also be recorded, and I will post it to YouTube. Uh, and it'll be private or unlisted, so it won't be visible to the public. Uh, but it'll be available to view at any time for those who want to be able to reconsult the explanations or discussions had within. Uh, and you'll be provided with a, a private link for those. Um, as a way as well um, to include uh, YouTube, uh, I, I suppose Twitch as well, or people that just don't have the means to support financially, which I fully understand. Once a week, I will also pick someone from YouTube comments of the video that I posted that week uh, to invite to that week's call. Uh, each new video I post to YouTube will have a specific question. For example, and this one will apply to this video right here, guys. Leave a comment on this video telling me your favorite item ever in Path of Exile and maybe one or two sentences why. When uh, I do our first sort of Patreon podcast, um, I will select one of the people randomly who've answered that question um, in, in the previous video or in this case, this video, and I will invite you to the call. Uh, obviously, because the, the questions will be somewhat targeted on my part, I'll be able to take your uh, answer as a, a tacit interest in wanting to join that call as opposed to just general feedback comments that people leave on YouTube videos in general. Uh, and again, um, the extent to which you can use my time or our one-on-one -on -one time here uh, is really up to your imagination. They will be held privately, so um, you, know, you don't have to worry about uh, being heard on Twitch or whatever. Although, <laughs> heads up, um, you know, uh, uh, if you if you've got a deep European accent, the kid might the kid the kid might make fun of you a little bit. Okay, I'm reminded of the time that I, <laughs> there was a guy from Eastern Europe. I was playing with him all day. Fantastic dude, but he couldn't pronounce W's or was it V's? Anyways, vivid vultures and vivid watchers. It was vivid vulture and vivid vulture. Belton, which one do you want, the vivid vulture or the vivid vulture? All right. Now I don't speak peanut butter in the mouth, so. You know, you'll have to forgive me for my American ignorance, but uh, I'll do my best to communicate with that. And on top of that, too, um, if there are any time constraint issues, uh, you know, for example, time zone problems, um, I I'll host um, multiple different we um, like Q&A sessions or one on one meetings or 30 minute recordings uh, throughout the week. So people from different areas of the world uh, don't get uh, left behind if they uh, choose to uh, support at this tier. Um, so, yeah, that's the tier two right there, guys. And then finally, the tier three supporter pack, which is uh, again through Patreon, and this one will be twenty dollars a month. Uh, T three tier T three tier three supporters will receive all of the benefits included and mentioned uh, both in whoop, in the tier two that I just talked about and the tier one previously. Uh, additionally, tier three supporters will be given direct access to my live data, all of my planning, my spreadsheets, my strategies, and my written plans in real time. I have hundreds of documents that I have collected over the years with publicly unavailable information. Things such as synthesis mod weightings that I have collected laboriously from over 275,000 vivid vultures and over 150 individual mirror crafts. The documents uh, will also give access to a variety of spreadsheet calculators uh, that I write in format for myself to indicate the profitability of certain tasks. These would include things such as uh, temple Sorry, Temple Corruptions, uh, Adorn Jewel uh, Net uh, Expected Value Calculators, That Which Was Taken uh, Identifiers, uh, Awakened Gem Rerolls, uh, Harvest Beast Memory Profit Calculators, uh, Harvest Memory Calculators, 
Um, for example, if you've seen my video um, on Harvest Beast Memories, um, attached to that video, there's a spreadsheet that would, uh, in the description, that would be a good, a good example of that. Uh, finally, it will also include my rough notes or planning stages on financial decisions that I make. Um, for those who watch me on stream, you'll know that before I ever really do anything, I often pull out a uh, Microsoft notepad and I kind of write a rough concept out. And then, you know, I, I look up the mathematics or the, 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 um, you know, the probabilities of it and the material costs and stuff. And, uh, you know, I, I basically structure loosely a loose concept into a, a specific idea. Can I support this, uh, through basic arithmetic? Um, and then I, you know, then I will. Uh, keep some data on, um, you know, proof of concept, real world results. Uh, I have, I, I can't even count how many of these uh, as well. Um, but if it does include things like crafts too, um, you know, while it might seem uh, to you guys that just watch, uh, especially in shorter clips that, you know, hey, Belton, how do I craft this? Boom, 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 step, 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 step. Um, behind the scenes, you know, I, I, if I want to make something, right, you take the end state, right? For me, crafting is solving a puzzle, right? I know the final state of that puzzle is whatever that craft is, right? And so now I want to figure out how I can get there the most cost effectively, most time efficiently, and uh, with as much determinism um, and as little variance or RNG as possible, right? Those are the three primary motivators. So I have to figure out the steps in between where it currently is and what that end state is to do that in the best way possible. Um, often I, I can do that in my head, but usually I do write that stuff down. Um, and so, uh, as well as the things I mentioned a couple minutes ago, uh, for the tier three supporters, you'll also have access to all of those, uh, sort of loose notes and kind of brainstorms I have as well. Um, but yes, as, as it says there on the bottom, this often includes verbatim step-by-step -step instructions on crafts. I find, uh, as I fine tune my approach. And that's it, guys. Uh, that's the video. 17 minutes. That's pretty good for me. I was hoping to get it under 15. Um, if, if you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I know uh, this video is not uh, explicitly PoE content related. However, as we are coming to the, the very end of this league and at the precipice of this new league, uh, I am going to be releasing a video uh, either later today or tomorrow at the latest covering all of the announced changes so far, the quality of life stuff, blah, blah, blah what my thoughts on it are. And I thought that this was a good time. So if anyone um, is interested in, in helping support uh, the stream and support my pursuits uh, in this, um, I, it would be super appreciated and as well. Uh, eventually, um, I will be using this money too to pay for an editor to help improve my content. Um, you know, the, the good month that I had when I crafted Low Thunder, uh, I used all the money that I had extra that month to, to reinvest in the stream, bought multiple monitors, the green screen, new camera. Um, and uh, I'm all in, guys. So um, it will help in, in a very real way with the stream, but as well for me to just support myself. And so uh, thank you very much, gentlemen. Uh, if you're unable to, I fully understand. And I apologize if, uh, you know, it, it always feels weird kind of kind of asking for these things, but you know, brass tax is what it is. Think of this maybe as a quarterly financial report. Um, anyways, guys, I'm looking forward to uh, uh, covering the, the new content with you. Still enjoying the league myself, the sicko that I am. Uh, and I hope you guys are uh, doing great. If you're still playing the game, I hope you're having a blast. I will talk to you soon. God bless. Take care.